wondering, could it possibly be that we're not embarking on new beginnings simply because we haven't been courageous enough to create and foster necessary endings? Maybe the person who's really in your way is not them, it's you. I want to show you how to get through what it is that you go through. How to create new boundaries for new beginnings. And yes, necessary endings. Let's mix it up. <laughs> What's up? We're mixing it up. Can you believe we're in part 10 of the Know Your No series talking about building healthy boundaries? Has this been a blessing to you? Has this been eye opening for you? Has this been transformative for you? Let me know. I hope so. Family, like this video. Come on, thumbs it up, please. Yeah, please and thank you. There it is. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Let's go. Part 10. We're talking about necessary endings. Yeah. Know you know how to create boundaries for new beginnings and necessary endings. You know, whether we realize it or not, we need to realize that there is a cause and effect for our actions and our decisions. Yeah, really is. It's cause and effect. And too often we have made everybody else's emergency hours. Too often we have failed to make the break. I realize this. There are two pains in life, the pain of discipline or the pain of consequence. The pain of consequence is shoulda, coulda, woulda. I would have been here if I did it, if I did what I needed to do there. I would have passed this class if I didn't procrastinate all semester long. I would have got this job if I would have shown showed up on time to the interview. I would have kept the job <laughs> if I was disciplined enough. You know, to be on time. What, whatever example floats your boat and fits the script. Two pains, the pain of discipline and the pain of consequence. The pain of discipline is I didn't feel like doing it, but I'm glad I did. The pain of discipline is, mm, I'm glad I stuck to the place of consistency and frequency. I created a necessary ending for that bad habit, for a new beginning, for a good habit. There's also another pain too. It's either the nagging pain of what you're holding on to or the pain of making the break. Do you realize this? There's going to be pain either way. Do I want the nagging pain of holding on to what holds me back. I'm preaching this thing in here. If you can't say amen, say ouch. HTA, hard truth alert. I'm either going to deal with the nagging pain of holding on to what holds me back. Or here's the thing. I'm going to deal with the pain of making the break. It's pain either way. How long do I want the pain to fester? 
How long do you want the pain to last? It's going to hurt either way. I'm dealing with the nagging pain of a liability. Or I'm making the break from a liability. But here's the thing. Sometimes we love our liabilities. Oh, you don't want to talk to me. Sometimes we have enemies that we like. So, so, bad habits that you know ain't good to you. Ain't good for you. But sure do feel good to you. Mm-hmm. Bad habit eating them chips. And you know them chips hit your hips. You can't spell chips without hips, by the way. Can't do it. Bad habits. Necessary endings. And sometimes there is no new beginning because you haven't built the boundary for a necessary ending. You look at every time you look in the mirror, you putting shades on. No, no, no. T take them sunglasses off. Well, I got to put on shades because my future is bright. It won't be. Until. You take off the mask. Look at the man and the woman in the mirror. So that you, so that you can see yourself and their boundaries clear. There is a cause and an effect. For our actions and decisions. And here's the thing. Sometimes the effect is a defect. Defective lifestyle. Defective ideas. Defective thoughts. Rather. Defective things that, that produce a negative narrative. Here's the thing. Nobody's rescuing you from the decisions that you've made. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved. Nobody's saving you from the decisions that you have made. From the choices that you have exacted upon your life. You got to choose better. You, you, you have to get to that particular place of creating the necessary ending to launch the new beginning. It, and here's the thing. How bad do you want it? S see, here's the thing. A lot of us don't want it bad. We just kind of want it. Well, I, I kind of want to be successful. I kind of want to be, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to be significant in that arena. I kind of want to be consistent. I kind of want to show up. I kind of want to soar. One of my wings is working. The other one, you know, I just don't really want to go. You don't, you don't want it bad enough. You just kind of want it. You know when you want it? You want it when you feel like wanting it. Mm-hmm. Because here's the thing, when you want something bad enough, you're willing to make a sacrifice for it. Family type sacrifice. Family type sacrifice. When you want that health goal bad enough, when you want that, that body bad enough of how you want to look for the summertime shine, summertime fine, you say, listen, I'm going to sacrifice these. I'm going to sacrifice that ice cream. Because it's making me scream. I'm, I'm going to sacrifice the chips that hit the hips. I'm going to sacrifice the Snickers that tell me I'm not myself when I'm hungry. Because here's the thing. I'm hungry for change. I'm hungry for transformation. 
Family, just type, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about your future. I'm not talking about vittles. I'm talking about victory. I'm not talking about salmon. I'm talking about a standard. I ain't talking about bread and butterfingers. I'm talking about a breakthrough. The question that you have to ask yourself. Number one question you got to ask yourself, because I know you're taking some notes. And jotting down these quotes. Yeah, I'm your, I'm your keynote speaker. I'm giving you keys and notes. Number one question that you got to ask yourself is how bad do I want it? Secondly, you got to ask yourself, what's stopping me from getting it? Third question that you got to ask yourself is what will I sacrifice to have it? How bad do I want it? What's stopping me from getting it? Thirdly, what will I sacrifice to have it? You got to give up something to get it. Hear me. Success is not about what you want to get. It's about what you're willing to give up to get there. Oh, I'm talking to you. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me, family. Your goals, your success is not so much about what you want to get is what you're willing to give up to get it. Necessary ending to have it. I got to have it. The dream. I got to have it. The vision. I got to have it. Love in my life. I got to have it. Peace of mind. I got to have it. And as a result of it, I'll create a necessary ending to get it. Come on. I'm passionate about it. Passion. Action. Family, just type it. Passion and action. Passion and action. Passion in action. I'm going to make it make sense. The math will math. The HTAs. I'm hitting you with an HTA. I'm hitting you with a multiplicity of HTAs. Hard truth alerts. How bad do I want it? What's stopping me from getting it? What will I sacrifice to have it? What, what boundaries will I build? To break it. You, t you, well, I'm believing for a new beginning. I'm praying for a new beginning. I'm fasting for a new beginning. Some things are practical. Some things require your responsibility. For a necessary ending. There's a new beginning that's taking place in this channel. It's a channel for change. It's a channel that breaks change. Breaks chains, rather. Yeah, channel for change. Channel that breaks chains. It's a new beginning happening over here. Over here. Up in here. Up in here. Do you hear? <laughs> and so, right here at In the Mix of Six, listen, I, we've reached a new level. We've grown in our analytics. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. And so here's the thing. I want you to go up with us. I want you to elevate. 
your in the mix at six experience. How do I do that is what you're asking. I'm so glad that you asked. I want you to become a member right now. Yeah, become a member right now. And as you become a member, you're unlocking behind the scenes content. You're unlocking early access to episodes. You're unlocking exclusive perks. Personalized shout outs in the chats. Ability to support the channel. And you can do that even now as I'm talking to you through super chats, through super stickers to support the super conversation and the super show. For show. Right? So it, you say, well, how do I sign up? Simple. Simple. Look out for the link dropped in the chat. Once you see that link dropped in the chat, click it. Visit my homepage. Click join now. It's going to be next to the subscribe button. We've got three tiers for you. VIP, royalty, OQP. I know you're a very important person, so come on. I know you're royal. Yeah, king, queen. Yeah, your royalty demands loyalty. Come on, unlock these loyalty perks. And then, of course, we know you're OQP. You only want quality people in your life. Only quality people. And since you're an only, since you're only a quality person, come on, join us on that tier. Join us on that level. Join the exclusive in the mix at six club. Let's roll out the red carpet. Let's give you that VIP treatment. Join us right now. Join us today. New beginnings are happening here. And I believe new beginnings will happen in your life. When you create necessary endings, certain things in your life are for a season and for a reason. And sometimes the reason is why the season has expired. When the fruit is bad, you throw it away. At least I hope you do. Do you keep drinking the, the milk if it's spoiled? At least I hope you don't. Discard of it. How do, you, how do you end it? You pour it out. How do you end it? You throw it away. But here's what we're doing. A lot of us are recycling. A lot of us are returning back to what God delivered us from. A lot of us, here it is. Yeah, I gave you acronyms. B3, build back better, build better boundaries, bigger, better, brighter. HDA, hard truth alert. OQP, only quality people. I don't know, am I missing one? Here's another one, CPR. Stop giving CPR to dead relationships. Stop giving CPR to bad habits. Stop giving CPR to toxic people. Stop giving CPR to your wounds and your triggers and your trials and your tribulations and your situations. Stop trying to return to rescue people from the decisions that they've made. Nobody's coming to rescue you. You are the leader that you've been looking for. You were the one who made that decision. You were the one that got into that relationship. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be real. Let's have a courageous conversation, family. It's tight, but it's going to be all right. We do, we doing, we doing surgery today. Listen, I, if I cut you, I promise I'm going to sew you up. You were the one that got into that relationship. You were the one who trauma bonded with that individual. You were the one who stayed with the narcissist and the gaslighter. You were the one who was with the manipulator who made you feel bad for what they did to you. You were the one 
who spent all your money on Amazon and vacations. You were the one who were, who, you were the one, you weren't a good steward of your finances. You were the one who kept buying a booth and a bottle at the bar or the club. Every weekend. Come on. You were the one who did something permanent in a temporary situation. And now. You want to treat God like a break glass in case of fire. You're trying to rescue other people. Or you're allowing people to treat you like a break glass in case of fire because you have not created boundaries for yourself. So here's the thing. Oh, yeah, they know whose house to knock on when they in need of $50. They, they know how to buddy up to you when they need a cash app. Right? Because... They did not do what they should have done with what they had. Or now here it is, the roles reversed to where you need them. Because you didn't set up any financial boundaries for yourself. You didn't set up any stewardship boundaries. You didn't set up any relationship boundaries. And so here's the thing. Now that somebody knows that you're in need, you're needy. They dangle the carrot of manipulation. Oh, he'll be back. She'll be back. And they know how to make you feel less than if you don't return. Come on, come on. No manipulation formed against you shall prosper. It's a necessary ending. Habits, certain, certain habits need necessary endings. Certain relationships need necessary endings. Certain thoughts that we think need necessary endings. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. If it's higher than God, it's too high. Bring it low to the flow. Put it under your feet. Here's the thing. A person who continually rescues another person is a codependent. You can't be a boundaryless person. What do you have to be? I'm so glad you asked. Let me share something with you. Yeah. I, I, I want to share a message. And then here's the thing. On the other side of this break, we're going to break through. Have these messages. Guarantee you. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, what's up, family? Have you checked out my resources to grow your greatness? Yeah, I'm talking about to grow as an author and a speaker. You want to get my bestseller book, Blueprint. Somebody's waiting for you to write that book. Let me show you how to do it. I'm giving you all the strategies of what I've used to be a best-selling author of 16 books. Surely I know something to help you. Go and get my bestseller book, Blueprint, as well as... Whenever you write a book, people are going to ask you to talk about it. You want to get my successful speaker strategies. It's a amazing video tutorial, download four and a half hours of just content of what it is that I do to share of how to communicate and really to connect as you're communicating. Your words are a paintbrush. What picture are you painting when you're speaking? I guarantee you, whatever you're building, you can build it better if you use better words. Go right now to theeaglesacademy.com forward slash store and grow your greatness, get all the resources. Take that and rewind it back. We are back. And of course, I've got some resources for you as you see, as you saw, as you heard, as you witnessed. Bestseller book blueprint, go get that. Successful speaker strategies, you want to add that. Go right now, theeaglesacademy.com forward slash store. I'm empowering you to soar. Speaking of sore, join my Eagles community. Well, join my Eagles community. 
empowering you to soar into success and purpose, sharpening your mindset, building your tool set, empowering you to be an asset in any particular environment. You don't just soar as high as your dream, you soar as high as your team. Don't just soar in a silo. Soar with other eagles that are soaring to another level. Time to mount up on wings as eagles. If you spread your wings, I guarantee you're going to win. I take it to one level here, but you also need the other level in our community. Having a riveting, eye-opening teaching. It's where I teach, it's where I coach, it's where I train, it's where I mentor. We're talking about communicators are connectors. It's in a different way. It's in a way that's going to move the needle in your industry. Join us. Theaglesacademy.com. When you get there, tap the join out button, fill out the form, be transformed. Let's hit the thumbs up on this video, family. Come on, hit the thumbs up on this video. Let's run it up with the super chats. We're having a super conversation. Run it up with the super chats. Run it up with the super stickers. Run it up because you're a super person. Run it up. By becoming a member, VIP, royalty, OQP. You up with OQP? Yeah, you know me. We're talking about necessary endings. And it's all about creating boundaries for new beginnings and necessary endings. But here's the thing. Certain things don't begin unless certain things end. Apostle Paul said this, when I was a child, I spake as a child, understood as a child, but when I became a man, mature, assertive, nurturer, I put childish things away. There it is, necessary ending for a new beginning. Becoming a man is about maturity. It's about identity. Becoming a woman is about maturity, is about identity. It's about more than specifically you just being born a girl or born a boy. It's about more than just your age. What is it about? It's about your stage. Manhood is a stage. Womanhood is a stage. It's me flipping the page. It's me, here it is, creating a necessary ending for my adolescence and my childhood to begin into my adulthood. Are you following me? Yeah, it's about more than just the waist down. It's about the neck up. About more than just below the neck, it's about what's above the neck that makes the difference. That's what speaks to the stage of manhood or womanhood. And here's the thing. Too many of us are just solely dependent on other people. We're dependent on other people to stroke our ego. Dependent on other people to give us, here it is, an emotional sedative. A person who continually rescues another person is a codependent. In effect, codependent, boundary, boundaryless people. Let me say that again. Boundaryless people. That means you have no boundaries at all. A boundaryless person is a threat to themselves. Boundaryless people co-sign the note of life for the irresponsible people in their lives. So here's the thing. Now they end up paying the bills. That goes beyond just financial. It's physical. It's emotional. It's spiritual. You become a spendthrift. Continually out of control with no consequences. 
you got to get to a particular place with your boundaries. You got to put your boundaries on a budget. Put bound family type this boundaries on a budget. Boundaries on a budget. It's costing me too much to go back and forth with you. I can't do it. Necessary ending. It's costing too much of my mental health and my strength and my sagacity to fight you and to have a war of words with you is not in my boundary budget. It's too expensive for me. Mm -mm. No, I refuse to be spendthrifty. That ain't the retail type of therapy for me. I got a boundary budget. Got a boundary budget. I refuse to exhaust, exhaust myself. Trying to be a people pleaser. That I void myself of self-care. Not in my budget. I got a boundary budget. Spiritually, physically, emotionally. Here's what establishing boundaries does. Establishing boundaries does this. It helps codependent people stop interrupting the laws of sowing and reaping. Too many people break the law. We help them to break the law. Because here's the thing. We want to weave ourselves into and rescue somebody out of what they are responsible for. It ain't your fight. Stop interrupting the laws of sowing and reaping in somebody else's life. Your friend, your loved one. Because here's what boundaries do. Boundaries force the person who is doing the sowing to also do the reaping. What you sow, so shall you reap. And here's the thing. What the law of sowing and reaping speaks to is this. Some people in your life, some people who you know of, some people that you have created a necessary ending today for, will not change until they endure the pain from their own decisions. Some people, unfortunately, have to put their hand on a hot stove for them to really realize it's burn it, it burns. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Stop, stop ushering people out of the things that they are responsible for. They call you U-S-H-E-R. Stop it. Some people will not change until they endure the pain from their decisions. What do I mean? Let me take it to another level. Some people are the arsonists in their own life. They set the building on fire. They set the bridge on fire. They the ones burning bridges. They set relationships on fire. They set the favor that they had at their job on fire. Because of their fervor. They set the building on fire. Then here it is. They walk into it and they scream help. <sighs> help. Help. Save me. SOS. Rescue me. Give me this. Give me that. Help me here. Help me there. Come, 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 come now. Come now, please. Please now. 
Emergency, emergency, 911, 911. But they wouldn't get the 411. You were giving them the 411, the information that would bring about transformation, but they only want to deal with 911. They deal in emergency, but not urgency. I'm giving you the 411 because I detect that there's an urgency of what you need to listen to. I detect with my discernment. But no, 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 no. You want me to save you on the back end, but you wouldn't listen on the front end. You want to front on me. Hello? The laws of sowing and reaping. You can't allow those laws to be broken simply because you just want to interject yourself. You colonel and captain save them. Hmm? When here it is, they should have made a sacrifice. Why? Because sacrifice spares your life. Obedience, oh Lord have mercy, is better than sacrifice. Why? Because I have to deal with, here it is, the consequences on the back end versus the discipline on the front end. I'm not a seamstress, but I'm trying to sew it together. Family, tight boundaries. Tight boundaries. You got to put boundaries between you and people who only want you to rescue them. You got to put boundaries on your responsibilities and people who never want to assume responsibility or take accountability. Yeah, the laws of sowing and reaping move you into a place of now, here it is, you have to take accountability for your actions. You're an arsonist in your own life. You set the fire on the building, you walked into it, and now you're screaming help. We don't applaud you for putting out a fire that you started. No, you ain't getting no Medal of Honor. We didn't start the fire. Yes, you did. There's recourse. I got to get to the place of me asking myself certain questions. What necessary endings am I willing to? to execute because if I don't there are no new beginnings here's the thing that's what's, what's going to continue to happen you're going to keep rereading the same chapter until you make the necessary ending is necessary is needed is vital is important it's a must have it's a do this or else I keep rereading the same chapter. I keep reliving the same chapter. Chapter of pain. Chapter of torment. Chapter of trauma. Chapter of trials. Chapter of a wounded lifestyle. Chapter of stinking thinking that keeps you sinking. Chapter of making no moves, but watching everybody else around you make moves. Chapter of being an eagle in a chicken coop. 
because your mind is not renewed. Chapter of here it is looking for people to rescue you because you won't take responsibility for you. Oh, it's a, it's a challenging message. Family, type, accept the challenge. Accept the challenge to change. Accept the challenge to transform. Yeah, make your next move your best move. Family, type next. Here's the thing, when I do what's necessary, next and now will transpire. Do, do you hear me? When you do what's necessary, I'll make a, a, a new beginning into a next. My next will be now. Family type, my next is now. My next is now. Because I did what needed to take place now to get next. I don't just have next. I got now. Why? Because of a necessary ending that I got to create now. A necessary ending that I have to exact now. Now is the day of salvation. Now is where I need to create healthy boundaries that necessitate new beginnings simply because of necessary endings. Here it is. Now is where I'm able to live a bountiful life, not a boundary less not life. Let me say it. Too many of us are not able to live a bountiful life because we live a boundary less life. You ain't got no principles. You ain't got no... It don't have any standards that you've set up. No boundaries. And so here's the thing. Enemy just running on in. People just taking you for granted. Siphoning, stifling. Your growth and your progress. It ends today. This is it. This is it. Necessary endings. I've come to the end of allowing you to decide what my life is going to be. I'm tired of it enduring. Hear me. Life is to be enjoyed, not endured. Too many of us are enduring things because we have not ended things. in the toxicity, in the connection that diverts your direction, in the bad habit, because you really can't stand it and create a standard to where you draw a line in the, in the sand and you stand. Having done all to stand, stand. Family type stand. Stand with your standards. Stand with your boundaries. Whether you like me or not like me, whether you like me or you love me, I'm going to still stand on business with my boundaries. The laws of sowing and reaping. Whatever man soweth, that shall he also reap. 
And in many cases, here's the thing. Here's, here's what you do. Based upon whatever you sow, that shall you reap. Either I'm going to rejoice or I'm going to weep. Based upon what I sow and based upon what I reap, I'm going to either rejoice or I'm going to weep. Here's the thing. It's time out for being a worrier. It's time to be a warrior. Time out for the mindset of a chump. It's time to be a champion. Time out for being a chicken. It's time to be an eagle. Time out for being a whiner. It's time to be a winner. Time out for being chained. And it's time to be changed. That's why this is the channel that brings change and breaks chains. Sowing and reaping. This is good ground to sow into. This is good ground to sow into in order to reap a harvest of blessings. It's harvest time for you. Family type harvest time. A harvest of hope. A harvest of healing. A harvest that hits your head. A harvest that hits your hands. A harvest that hits your heart. A harvest of happiness. Not a half harvest, complete, full, replete. For new beginnings. I want you to sow into your harvest. That's right. I want you to sow into your harvest of blessings. I want you to sow into your harvest. The harvest is coming because you created healthy boundaries. A harvest that's healthy. A healthy harvest. You can sow. I want you to sow where you sow. I want you to sow where you grow. Law of sowing and reaping. 30, 60, 100 fold. It seems as if the natural laws would suggest if I plant one thing, I'll get one thing. But God's laws of sowing and reaping go beyond that. God can give you double for what it is that you have sown. God can give you, here it is, 30, 60, 100 fold. Yeah. Sowing $20 should only give you $20 back, right? Mm-mm. God can get, take that 20 and multiply it to 200, 2,000, 200,000, 2 million, right? Harvest, exponential increase, family type increase. I'm believing, here it is, as you sow right now, I'm standing in agreement for you to where God releases increase, that God will release the increase. Increasing your ideas, increasing your impact, increasing your influence, increasing your income. I want you to sow that seed right now. Yes, you can sow via super chat. Yes, you can sow via super sticker. It's been a super conversation. Yes, you can sow by becoming a member on any of those tiers, VIP, royalty, OQP. Sounds good to me. Don't you agree? Yes. You can sow even through Cash App, dollar sign access identity. PayPal, info at eddieconnor.com, E D D I E C O N N O R.com. You can sow via Zelle. All is well, even if you sow via Zelle. Eddie Connor, JR. 
at gmail.com. Your seed helps to meet our need. We have a need to grow into neighborhoods. We have a need to grow into nations through this portal, through this medium of technology. But here's the thing. On this YouTube side, there's, there are a lot of bells and whistles. There are a lot of microphones. There are a lot of lights. There are a lot of, so, there's, a, there's a lot of software products that we need. And you can help us through your seed to meet the vision of our need. This is a visionary channel. A channel for change. A channel that breaks chains. And so I want you to sow into your harvest. As you sow into your harvest, I want you to name your seed. Maybe you're naming your seed harvest. Maybe you're naming your seed increase. Maybe you're naming your seed release. Maybe you're naming your seed necessary ending. Yes. Maybe you're naming your seed health and wealth. Maybe you're naming your seed prosperity. Maybe you're naming your seed love because that's what you desire more of. Maybe you're naming your seed peace. Because maybe you've been in a storm. And you're declaring peace be still. Maybe you're naming your seed new beginnings. Why? Because of the necessary endings that you have developed and drawn a line right today. I don't know what it is, but I'm believing that God hits your heart, your head, your home, and your hands with an unbelievable, ridiculous harvest. It's happening for you even now. Thank you for sowing. Thank you. Thank you for sowing. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you for your super sticker. I don't take it for granted. I thank you for it. We count it all joy. Family. There are a number of different resources that I have for you to grow you and your greatness too. Yeah, I like that. To grow you and your greatness too. I want you to go to theeaglesacademy.com forward slash store to get more, to become a member. As well, you can do that and to soar with us. Go to theeaglesacademy.com directly. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, be transformed. Become a member of our amazing community. Gifted leaders. Come on, family, drop some e eagle emojis in the chat. Yeah, put some eagle emojis in your chat. Rise up and get your eagle on. Rise up and get your eagle on. Come on, put some eagle emojis in the chat. Still I rise up and get my eagle on. So, once you become a member of our equals community, I... I I empower you here, but I really, really teach, train, got my whiteboard up, high tech whiteboard up and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm sketching, I'm writing, I'm teaching. You want to be a part of that? Go there, become a part of it. Family. I hope you got something from part 10 that helps you to win. But I don't know. I feel like part 11, there's more. Can you believe it? Part 11. As I said before, I don't know how far this can go. But here's the thing. I don't want to give you what you don't want. Part 11. I think there's more breakthrough. I think there's more, more for us to break free. It's part of, I don't know. Come on, if, if you want part 11, just type part 11 for me. 
<laughs> it's part 11 for me. But I don't want to give you what you don't want. <laughs> uh, let me know. Put your ones up twice. One thing about 11 is, is number one twice. <laughs> Family in the mix at six is out of time. But trust me, I, you know I'm not out of truth. Like that poetic genius Tupac Shakur said, there's no way I can pay you back, but my plans to show you that I understand. So I want you to know that you are appreciated. You are celebrated. You are not tolerated here. So I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I want to thank you for rolling with me. I didn't mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll it with me. Why? Because that's just how we roll. And we do that. We roll together. But in the mix at six, at six. Monday through Friday, each and every single weekday. On the digital airwaves of YouTube in particular. You know what it is. You know who it is. You know where it is. And so, since you are here, since you know where it is, I need you to hit thumbs up, family. Come on, thumbs up this video. YouTube has boundaries of its own. Its boundary is you got, you have to. Yeah, yeah, if you If you don't put a thumbs up, it's a thumbs down. Here's what you have to do. You have to hit the thumbs up button. Why? Because when you hit the thumbs up button, it helps me to grow the channel. Yeah, that's what it does. I'm grateful for all the comments. But I need more of this. Thank you. Thank you in advance for hitting the thumbs up button. Follow me on social media at Eddie Connor Jr. E D D I E C O N N O R J R. Don't be a ghost follower. Hit the subscribe button as well. That's right. This is where the love resides. And so y'all keep showing love. I'm going to keep showing up. If I can help you, if I can serve you in any way, holler at me. Reach out to me. Invite me to speak at your event. I'd love to come and empower you at your church, your conference, your community center. It's going to be nothing but transformation at your school, your college, your workshop, your session. Let's start progressing. Invite me. Info at EddieConnor.com. You can reach out to me there. DM me. Write me as well. DrEddieAcademy.com forward slash invite. Sure truly, Dr. Eddie. Your main man, 100 grand. Your brother, from another mother. Family has been fun, but you know a brother got to run. But I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy beyond measure. But I want you, yes you, to remember, to keep the faith and believe it's going to be bigger, better, brighter. Peace and love. Keep soaring Higher. Breaking news, this message is for you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You don't just soar as high as your dream, you soar as high as your team. Why are you not a part of our team, our Eagles community team, where it's all about soaring into success and greater purpose? I want you to go right now and join us. Yeah, right now. Go to the EaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the Join Now button, fill out the form, and I guarantee you're going to be transformed. Your mindset, you're going to maximize that. You're going to strengthen your skill set. You're going to build your tool set. You're going to heal your heart set. Find serenity in your soul set and be an asset in any environment. It's time to grow in your greatness, in your business, in your relationships, in your purpose. With individuals who are already growing. And we have a motto in our community where a win for me is a win for you. A win for you is a win for us too. Let's win together. Come on, join us. Experience the transformation. Experience the celebration, experience the opportunity, experience not just information, but implementation as I coach, as I teach, as I train, as I mentor you and show you how to use strategy, structure, and solutions to take your vision to another dimension. Meet us there. Join us there. I can't wait to see your face in our digital space. Go right now to the eaglesacademy.com 
When you get there, tap the Join Now button, fill out the form, and let's be transformed together. Spread your wings, and we'll win over and over again. See you there.